I still don't have a mount, new mount for my camera, so this might be a little weird shot, weird angle. Um, I gotta rework my bench and find a better way to to film. My old solution just wasn't working anymore. So I got a mailbag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like. Let's get started. Excuse the projects on my bench I've been playing with. I got these a little while ago. High density. I, haven't, I don't have any high density pixel strips, so I've been playing with that. Uh, it's kind of cool. You could do actual effects since the, the pixels are so close together. All right, first one, optical end stop. I'm assuming this is an optical, optical end stop for 3D printer. And this is just an IR module. An IR brake beam. Could use it for a filament sensor or an end stop. Just comes with a cable, nice PCB connector. So, could use it for other things. Any kind of you know sensor that you need to Put you know slot detection or optical encoding. So that's that. Uh, portable lighting P4RO. I don't know. I have no idea. Portable lighting. Now I don't know what that means, but. These are thermal switches. I believe I bought some normally open ones because the ones I ordered before were not normally open. They were normally closed. They were supposed to be normally open. They sent me the wrong ones. So I ordered some again. Maybe I get the right thing this time. And I don't know. Doesn't say. Uh, one way to find out, right? Actually, I'll just use this. I'll just use my multimeter instead of the bench meter. Uh, actually, I will because I don't have cables hooked up to it. Okay, well that's good. This is it says uh, 5 amp, 250 volt, 45 degrees centigrade. All right, so that's not too high, so I should be able to These take a lot of heat, even though they rate it at that. They're made for long soak time. Because they are bimetal. So the metal's gotta it's gotta heat up the outside and then get there you go. It's not too bad. Yeah, so this would be good for you know if something gets extremely hot, you can switch on a fan or something. Let's see how cleanly it shuts off. Oh, pretty cleanly. Cool. And they got a silicone sleeve so that if you put them, you know, on a, if you're going to mount them to like a chassis, you don't want the grounds, you know, to be possibly in contact with, you know, something that's connected. Cool. And I was going to use these for like an emergency switch to put on something. If something gets too hot, switch on a fan, but not have a fan running all the time. Or, um, you know, 
to use it in some you know somewhere that is not supposed to get hot or you know if it does get beyond spec that something will kick on or we can or you can set an alarm you know like that this is a banana clip cold holder I designed and printed the other day that just holds all my banana clips I gotta find somewhere to mount it but it's just got all the banana jacks that I use for my leads on my bench all right next clip Uh, these are bed clips for glass bed 3D printer. I don't know if they're going to fit mine, but they were the cheapest ones you can get. A lot of people recommend Swiss clips. They're for like mirrors and frames. They're very expensive. They're like $8 a pop. These I think were like $5 for four. So I'm going to try those first. Just to keep, right now my glass is just sitting on the bed. Luckily it doesn't move much because the, I still have the magnetic surface on it. So it's kind of rubbery. Once it starts sticking, it stays on there. So, and it doesn't move at all. Uh, once you put clips on, you start pinching corners. You can actually get more problems. But I do need to secure it. MOSFET MOS tube fit. Turn that off. Ordered a bunch of MOSFET modules um, for fan control again and various things and every time I need to control something. Uh, there's three different kinds of these. I might even have more on this in this mailbag. This is a LR7843 MOSFET. I think these are all end channels, uh, but they come in these nice little boards with not soldered headers, which is really cool because you want to stick a little powerful MOSFET somewhere. It's a nice little package. All right, next, 3D printer kits. All right, this is another optical end stop. I'm not going to open this. It's pretty much the same thing as this one. Um, just a three prong connector with the jack and an IR brake sensor. Uh, layout on the PCB is just a little different. Mounting holes are a little different. Yeah, it's got a transistor and LED. Probably about the same. So just bought a couple different variations. Expansion board module. Is this uh, going to work or I need to brighten this up a little bit? Brighten that up a little bit. Hopefully it's not too dark. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, what in the heck is this? Interesting. Apparently, it was in a box and they just punched it in there. All right, this is uh, just like a little reed switch module. I like these because they are hardened. The reed switch is inside of a, it is not a glass enclosure. Uh, it's in this little service mount plastic uh, package, which is really nice. And um, it's just got um, pin connectors and a, some kind of JST or something connector. That's cool. I think that's a magnetic end stop kind of, kind of like detector or something. So those are pretty cool. I have a bunch, I have loose reed switches, but I don't have anything that's on a module that you, you know, it's easier to use. All right, next USB cable. Uh, okay, this is for 3D printers typically. I guess you could use it for anything. Uh, these are micro SD. Ooh, these are nice and long too. Micro SD. If you need like really cheap. Flex cables, these are probably really good solutions because they come with a lot. Um, these are basically an SD card relocator. It, can, it plugs in to your SD card slot and then you can put this somewhere else to get it easier to do. So if I want to, I think I'm going to move my uh, electronics and my printer to the back. So all the cables uh, can be internal 
and I can close them and then I can use this if I still need to get to the SD card. I don't really print off SD card, I use Octoprint, so I barely ever need to do this. I thought I would just buy one just in case I needed to get to it. Now I'm going to roll this up again so it doesn't get bent. I don't like bending these flexes, they get kind of iffy if you bend them too much. Oop, 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 stick it Put that back in there. That was pretty cheap too for all that flex. It'd be good to use for something else if you wanted to. Uh, one channel, one root. Um, I guess maybe that's a MOSFET again? I don't know. One channel. Yeah, that's the MOSFET module. This is a bigger one, MOSFET 4. This is a... Well, that's a weird package. It looks like they stuck a sticker on the... That is bizarre. Look at that. They like... It's like on a... It's a square. I guess it's fake. IRF 540N. Just a nice little module. I think these are like the quick connectors. Kind of like a spark fun breakout kind of knockoff. And um, yeah, it's got diode protection on the output. Uh, it's got some kind of, it looks like it might be an optical, optical isolator here. I've never seen one that small. I've been trying to find small opto isolators. Every time I get some, they're gigantic. Uh, power LED, uh, there's also a diode there, maybe it's being used as a, there, that's a diode on the MOSFET, there's also a diode across the leads too, interesting, a uh, transistor for logic, and that's it, MOSFET module. Optical speed measure, probably another one of these. Uh, I'm not going to open these again. This is just a basic module. This is a breakout for these optical IR sensors. Looks to be the same as that. Uh, on the back, it's got this is a much nice smaller footprint, I think. Well, eh, kind of different footprint. I've got a bunch of different ones so that I could, you know, mechanically figure out which ones work best. Uh, the holes in the PCB don't line up with the holes, so that could be, be a problem. Uh, they must have changed this module and the PCB no longer lines up. That's So you can only get one screw through there, unless you break that off. That's stupid. This one the same. Uh, this one's pretty much the same too. <laughs> These are just smaller versions. Uh, and the circuitry's on the back. It's got a, uh, looks like a... Uh, looks like it's got a regulator on the back and a light. So it might be 5 volt uh, compatible or something like that. Alright, last one. Needle point protector. I don't know what this is. I think I, I bought it and thought, oh, that's kind of an interesting little thing. Yeah, so it's like these little, these are supposed to go on the ends of needle point to protect yourself from stabbing yourself, probably. But I could see other things that these would be good for, maybe. You know? I don't know. You know? You never know when you need like a little piece of silicone that shaped kind of funky. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, I already found one use for it, you know? I mean, maybe there's other uses for it. You know, like caps for syringes or something? I don't know. But, um... You never know. You never know. Uh, like I said, I buy weird stuff sometimes. If it pops up, I'm, not, I'm looking for something else, and it pops up. And I think I was looking for silicone covers for um, for something, for syringes maybe. Because these covers, um, I think that's what I was looking for. These covers aren't tight; they just they're just protectors, so they still leak out all inside the cap. 
So it's kind of, they, they make these silicone ones that slip over the tip. But they're not very cheap. I couldn't find them. You had to buy like a whole set of these with tip, of tips with the with them on there. I just want a little piece of silicone that slides over the tip. And keeps the stuff from squeezing out. And you can see it. You know, the pressure just comes out. And fills these caps up. And I don't think these caps are airtight. They just kind of like lock on there. There's still like holes there. You know, it's not a, a tight fit. So, I think that's what I was looking for. But I came across these and kind of interesting. So, well, that's it for now. Till next time.